In other business news, Dutch computer chip equipment maker ASML faces a setback as the Dutch government partially revoked its export license for shipments to China. In a bold power play that reshapes the global tech landscape, the United States and the Netherlands have thrown a wrench in China's semiconductor ambitions. But is this a strategic safeguard or a step towards technological warfare? Stay with us as we unravel the layers of this complex and rapidly evolving story. China has accused the United States and the Netherlands of malevolent actions, prompting a renewed commitment to fast-track their self-sufficiency in semiconductor production. This stems from the U.S. exerting its geopolitical influence, pressuring the Dutch government to withdraw ASML's crucial export license. This move directly challenges China's growing tech prowess, sparking outrage and a moral debate on power dynamics in global trade and technology. Critics condemn the U.S. for what they see as technological warfare to hinder China's semiconductor self-sufficiency, creating a contentious narrative of market manipulation and geopolitical coercion. As tensions simmer, this narrative transcends a trained dispute, shedding light on the struggle for tech dominance. In a momentous development within the global tech landscape, the United States has exerted its influence over the Dutch government's choice to annul ASML's export license. ASML, a leading Dutch manufacturer of chip-making machines, is directly affected by this decision. It disrupts the shipment of specific lithography systems to China, a development that does not escape the scrutiny of the Chinese government. ASML, headquartered in the Netherlands, has disclosed that this action impedes its ability to deliver particular lithography systems to the Asian giant in 2023. The Chinese Foreign Ministry, represented by spokesperson Wang Wenbin, has called upon the Netherlands to uphold market principles and legal standards. They emphasize the necessity of safeguarding the mutual interests of both nations and preserving the stability of global supply chains. The withdrawal of the export license holds significant ramifications for ASML's business activities in China, particularly impacting the shipment of products to specific Chinese clientele. While ASML has chosen not to reveal the identities of the affected parties, it is widely recognized that their prominent customer base in China includes notable entities like the Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation or SMIC, among others, as reported by Reuters. ASML's dominant position in the global market for lithography systems, a critical component in semiconductor manufacturing, makes this development especially noteworthy. This action taken by the Dutch government is not an isolated event, but rather part of a broader strategy orchestrated by the United States to limit China's access to cutting-edge semiconductor technologies. The United States has previously implemented measures to prevent the Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, or TSMC, from supplying chips to China. Now it is perceived as extending its influence to obstruct ASML's exports. This strategy adds a layer of complexity to ASML's operations in the Chinese market, which has been a substantial growth sector for the company. In the third quarter of 2023, China emerged as ASML's largest market, constituting 46% of its sales. This growth is in alignment with China's endeavors to reduce its dependence on foreign technology. ASML has encountered previous challenges associated with export controls. In 2023, the U.S. government introduced regulations that conferred upon it the authority to curtail ASML's exports if they integrated any U.S. components. The company engaged in dialogues with the U.S. government to gain a comprehensive understanding of the scope and implications of these regulations. During these discussions, ASML affirmed its commitment to complying with all pertinent laws and regulations, including those pertaining to export controls. In response to these evolving international dynamics, China is intensifying its efforts to establish an autonomous semiconductor supply chain, with a particular emphasis on advancing lithography technology. 
Shanghai Microelectronics Equipment or SME serves as China's domestic manufacturer of lithography machines. However, SME is widely perceived to be trailing behind its global counterparts, especially American and Japanese firms, in terms of technological prowess. The recent revocation of ASML's export license introduces a fresh layer of complexity to the already intricate global semiconductor landscape, indicating a potential escalation in the technological rivalry between the United States and China. If you have been enjoying this video thus far, please remember to subscribe, share the video, and provide your feedback in the comments. The mounting tensions between the United States and China within the semiconductor industry reflect a broader geopolitical context for technological supremacy. The strategy employed by the United States government to curtail China's access to advanced semiconductor technology, as exemplified by recent actions against ASML, is part of a comprehensive endeavor to sustain a competitive advantage in the worldwide tech competition. This strategy aligns with the United States' overarching policy objectives, aiming to protect its national security interests and uphold its position of technological leadership. The annulment of ASML's export license to China represents a substantial setback for the Chinese semiconductor sector, which has been striving to achieve self-sufficiency in this pivotal domain. This move directly confronts China's ambitious goals of reducing its reliance on foreign technologies, particularly in the realm of advanced chip manufacturing. ASML's state-of-the-art lithography systems play a vital role in producing the most advanced semiconductors, and the inability to access these systems could severely impede China's progress in this field. China's reaction to these unfolding circumstances has been multi-pronged, Diplomatically, Chinese authorities have voiced disapproval of the United States, deeming its actions as unfair trade practices designed to impede China's technological progress. They argue that such measures go against established market principles and have the potential to disrupt the global supply chain, potentially leading to the division of the technology sector and negative global economic consequences. In the realm of technology, China is intensifying its commitment to fostering indigenous semiconductor technologies. Companies like SME are receiving increased attention and investment as China strives to lessen its dependence on foreign technology. Nevertheless, matching the technological prowess of industry leaders such as ASML and their Japanese counterparts poses a significant challenge. Developing the intricate technology required for advanced semiconductor manufacturing is a complex and resource-intensive endeavor, and it remains uncertain how swiftly China can bridge this gap. The implications of the U.S.-China technology rivalry extend beyond the confines of the semiconductor industry. This confrontation forms part of a broader strategic competition encompassing various facets of technology, including artificial intelligence, quantum computing, and telecommunications. The United States places great importance on technological leadership for its economic prosperity and national security, while China views technological advancement as a fundamental aspect of its national resurgence and global influence. Consequently, the international community closely watches the unfolding developments in this technology-driven rivalry. The EU faces a delicate situation, sharing some concerns with the U.S. but also seeking strong ties with China. Its response to U.S. actions against ASML and its stance on the U.S.-China tech rivalry will influence the global tech landscape. ASML's export license cancellation, influenced by the U.S., marks a significant moment in the U.S.-China tech rivalry, affecting both semiconductors and global tech relations. As this competition unfolds, actions of global stakeholders like the EU and tech companies will shape the tech future. What are your thoughts on the ongoing technology rivalry between the United States and China? How do you see this competition shaping the future of the global tech landscape? Feel free to share your thoughts and perspectives in the comments section below. Don't forget to become a part of the Revel Discovery community by hitting that subscribe button to stay informed about the latest technological advancements and innovations. 
Remember, as we delve into the realm of technology, the possibilities are limitless and the future is filled with exciting discoveries. Keep exploring!